Good evening, True Chakras Hair Talk fam. Tonight we're going to do, be doing a private reading for number um, 923. So basically they are kind of having some questions about their family. So we're going to kind of, have, I'm going to go ahead and kind of ask them um, to myself within my head, but they're going to come out um I'll explain them as we go. Because again, this is a private reading, so... I want to thank you, PR number uh, 923, for choosing me to do your private reading. I greatly appreciate it. It is an honor. And like I said, and then I hope it gives you and your family some clarity to the situation. So, I'm going to ask about your father, about the reading of the book, like you asked. Um, why didn't he could just go? Um, I thought it was a very simple question. And then, um... Was it truly love? So, why did he ask you to read that? Why didn't he just go away? And was it love or something else? So, and then we'll be, we'll be using the pendulum like you had asked at the very end to ask those questions. But I will ask it a, a bit separately because on the other side, it is not considered that anymore. Because that does not exist on the other side. There is no illness. So I will find out if there's an illness, but if it was curable or not. So that will kind of answer that question for you if he did have that illness or not. And if he did, if it was curable or not. So um, we're going to ask um, why your father asked you to read that particular verse from the Bible. Um, he was trying to build strength within you. Um, maybe he maybe knew it was about to happen, so he knew that you needed to take on the strength of the Queen of Swords and use your mind and be able to run your household. Um, because he knew that maybe he wasn't going to be there as much to do so anymore. So let's go ahead and see why else he had wanted you to read that. That's too many. Just one or two, please. Why else did he want you to go into the Queen of Swords energy? Because he wanted you to have a happy home. So yeah, again, he wanted you to come in the Queen of Swords because it's a very strong energy. It's, it's a thought. So if anything that had happened that could have, um disrupted emotions and thoughts he is showing that he he wanted you to read that because he wanted you to know what he was thinking so why is the ten of cups here too as well because of strength i guess again that's why he made you asked you to read the verse he, um in the bible he wanted you to gain strength from reading that verse so that you understood what was about to happen so why did he not just go why did he not just go because of the high priestess, he was playing in the dark and the light, which is going to represent Pisces. Usually, um, when they are upright like this, they are playing in the dark and light. They will pretend that they are something they are not. They're manipulative. They usually will play with your mind and your emotions to get what they want. So they can be very aggressive. They can be. Um, they can usually get people to do their dirty work, or they can just kind of play with your mind. So that is saying that is why he did just not walk away. He enjoyed that energy at the time. Um, but he is saying at some point he was ready to let it go and he did not want to hold on to that in the earthly realm anymore with the four pinnacles in reverse. So he was ready to let go. So that's probably why he didn't walk away. He was tired of feeling that, that pull, that, that light and dark pull. Yeah. He came out with the king of swords. So, um, he was came out, it's kind of like the off with your head king. Um, but he did come out very aggressive, kind of like the queen, the queen went in reverse is off with your head which is actually the energy that he asked you to step into. He is saying that you possess the upright energy that he did not. So he wanted you to take over the household. That's why he asked you to read that verse. So um, how did he feel about y'all? He felt he had no victory within the family at this point. We will clarify and find out why he felt that way. But at this point, that is what he is saying. He felt no victory. So why did you feel the six of wands in reverse? And... Um, about the love and using. Why did you put the six of wands in reverse about love and using them? Because he just didn't appreciate life. That's all. The star card represents life. He just didn't understand it. He's still he's still learning what what damage he had done. Um, yeah, and he's putting it to the tennis uh, the tennis swords in. So it's he's ending that cycle. He doesn't want to live that way anymore. He doesn't want to think that way anymore. He doesn't want to feel that way anymore. So he is showing that that is is kind of where he is, um, as far as how he felt about y'all. That he didn't want to keep continuing that cycle with y'all because it wasn't fair. 
So that is why he ended it. So let's go ahead and see, um, well, at least the cycle. So let's go ahead and get clarification cards. Again, I want to thank you, PR number two, uh, 923, for choosing me to do your private reading. I greatly appreciate it. Because I hope it gives you and your family some clarity on the situation. So, again, I'm going to shuffle one more time. We're going to ask uh, the questions again, shuffle again, and then we will move forward. So, they're kind of stuck. So, he doesn't really want to answer those questions, it seems. So I'm going to get ask him how he um, why he asked you to read that, why he didn't just leave, and um, how he feels about y'all and and how he felt about y'all when he was here, or well how he feels about y'all currently. So um, why is the Ace of Swords or King of Ace of Swords? I'm sorry, Queen of Swords here. He wanted to take on the Queen of Swords energy because he knows that not only can you take on the Queen of Swords energy. But you can also take on his energy that he wished he could have had. With the King of Swords, you see that he is basically um, breathing ice. So when it's in reverse, the Knight of Swords, it's that he is wanting to come in harsh. But he was showing with you being the Queen of um, Swords over there that you basically really didn't put up with the behavior. So he knew that he couldn't really pull that with you. So that is why he wanted you to read that verse. Because he knew that you would understand why he behaved the way he did, maybe, once you read that verse. So why is the Ten of Cups here for you? Because of the Four of Pentacles. So he doesn't want you to let go of what you have in this earthly realm. He is saying that you very much have gained it. It's it's yours, and um, which is the happy home, the Ten of Cups. So he wants you to hold on to the happy home, regardless of whatever happened. That is another reason why he wanted you to read that verse. Because he wanted you to know whatever happened to the happy home that you hold the pinnacles to keep it steady. And that's why you have strength. So why is strength here? Because again, here you are showing up as the queen of swords again. And you are also having the ace of swords. So it's saying that whenever um, you read this verse, you felt a brand new thought came into your head. And there is writing on the sword. So it might have been something that you read, but either way, it is saying that it brought you even more into the power that he wanted to bring you into up here. Like I said, he already wanted you to come into the Queen of Swords, and he brought you back in there by reading that verse. So let's see why the um, High Priestess is here for the why he didn't leave. Because of the Three of Swords and because of the Two of Swords. So basically, he was causing heartbreak, and he didn't want to stop. He didn't want to make a decision to make the heartbreak stop. So he was very much stuck in the high priestess energy. That's why he was ready to let it go because he knew he was never going to stop breaking hearts and he was never going to make a decision to stop doing so. So these two cards came out for the four of pentacles. So it's the emperor. So he went into the emperor energy that day and he decided to make something happen. He felt, now this is wood and it's an action. So um, I don't know exactly that day what happened. But it is saying that someday he did step into the emperor energy because he was ready to let go of this earthly realm. And he was ready to make something happen with an action. And it, it, it does represent wands, which is wood. So he went into the um, king of swords in reverse. That is way too many. Just one, please. So let's see why he is in the king of swords in reverse with the emperor. All right, he keeps giving three. So basically, he is saying that he felt that day that it was a great idea. Basically, he felt if he spent the will, if he spun the will, then that he was going to be able to have the world go in the direction that he wanted it to go. So again, I'll show you from the beginning. He, um, whenever he went into this energy, he thought it was a great idea. He thought it was a good idea with the with with the sword thought. So when he did that, um, he spun the Wheel of Fortune, which is what he did. He made that action happen. And then when he did, it didn't work out in his favor. So that's basically what happened. So that's why he's still in the Six of Wands reverse. He's still in the Six of Wands reverse because he tried to harvest something that he couldn't. He tried, And you see this person is pregnant. They're waiting for this baby to be born. And it is earthly things. So basically, he could never get the earthly realm to function the way that he wanted it because he didn't know how to function within life in this realm. So why, that is too many, please, just one or two. So why is the star card here? So he's basically saying that um, he was consumed still by the high priestess, even now. Um, 
he did love y'all, but he still very much was um, basically, yes, he did use you at times. He loved you, but he used you. Now, if it was in reverse, it would be the opposite. But since it's upright, it is saying that this person manipulates, lies, steals, cheats, and does whatever they do have to emotionally play with you. It's Pisces, usually. So, um, again, and they're both water signs. So it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. And they usually do play with your emotions. So, yes, I think that he loved y'all, but I think at the same time he did play with the emotions. Why is it two of cups here? Because he was taking note of it. He felt that he had the right almost with the hair of it, and he felt that um, he kind of knew better than everybody else, so he felt that he could make that decision, whether it be dark or light, because the um, high priestess and uh, upright can be dark, and he wanted to take away the strength from y'all with the high priestess upright. So um, that is what he is saying. He did love y'all, but he was trying to drain your strength. So, yes, he was trying to make y'all feel... Um, not great. So let's get the purpose of life card again and see what, you know, he has to say about that and why he chose that. All right, so let's go ahead and see why. That's two cards that came out. So let's go ahead and see what he's saying about those two cards so he is saying sensitivity and yoga oddly enough um you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes according i think he's talking to you as the um the requestee of the reading so in yoga they are saying yoga and meditation can help your life is enhanced by yoga stretching and exercising so the more active you are the more you exercise your mind and your body the more your chakras are going to align, which I kind of know that is something that you have been talking about working on. So let's go ahead and get some angel answers. We're going to ask him about these questions. See what he has to say about it. Or if he has any other advice that he'd like to give. And we'll use the pendulum to ask about the illness. He's saying, don't stop and ask your angels. So he is saying that um, there are there is more to what happened, but just to just keep trying to connect with your inner, uh, well, well, with your spirit guides and then any angels around you. <clears throat> and he is saying, um, there is no romance. I don't know who he's speaking to. I'm sorry, I keep dropping it. I don't know why. I don't know who he's speaking to or what about. But, um... I don't think it has to do with y'all. It has to do with something else. So I think something else was no romance. And that's what he's saying. There was no romance there. If there was something else that was romantically thought about or mentioned. So let's go ahead and do the pendulum. We're going to ask if he did have any illness that was uncurable. If that affected him in any way. So again, we're going to ask him if he had any illnesses that were uncurable. saying yes was it a physical illness did you have a physical illness ask again if you could please step in with your spirit guides and tell me if you had a physical illness Did you have a mental illness? Yes. So I'm going to ask him again if he had a physical, if he was physically ill as far as passing. Was there um, an illness that was incurable? Did you have an incurable illness within your body besides the brain? No, he didn't. So, um, he did not have a physical illness. He had a mental illness. 
So that's kind of how he handled it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do the singing bowl to knock out any negative energy. All right, PR number 923, I want to thank you again greatly for choosing me to do your private reading. It is an honor. Like I said, I hope it gave you some clarity. You do have my email if you have any other questions. Like I said, but um, basically he is saying that he did ask you to read this particular verse because he knew what was going to happen. He had kind of planned it already. He knew he was playing in the dark and light. He was ready to leave that. He didn't want to do it anymore. But he is still struggling with it where he is, um, whether he, you know, whether the situation or not. So that is kind of why he did ask you to do those things. And as far as the illness, he did not have a physical illness within the body, as he claimed. But um, it was in his in his mind. So, yes, very much in his mind, he did feel that he was physically ill. Um, but when you feel physically ill in the mind, it can make your body feel ill. So um, he could have truly felt that. So, like I said, if you have any questions about this reading or, um, like I said, just anything in general about it, like I said, you have my email and you're more than welcome to email me. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. I want to thank you again for choosing me to do your private reading. It was an honor and I hope you have a great night and I will talk to you um, soon if you have any questions. So, again, um, thank you and I will talk to the rest of the True Chakra Tarot Talk family soon. Y'all have a good night and y'all take care.